revamped state board of elections met today after a state court of appeals reinstated a law that allows Senate confirmation hearings on Governor Roy Cooper's cabinet picks. WNCT's Katie Harden joins us now to tell us what's next. Katie. Ken, a three-judge panel met today to make a more permanent decision in Wake County. The threat that the Senate might veto the governor's most important appointees limits the governor's choices. Governor Roy Cooper's attorney is saying the transparency the GOP leaders are looking for is a form of tyranny. Lawyers representing General Assembly leaders say more people should be involved in the process. The power to appoint is not exclusively the executives. Senate leader Phil Berger responding tonight with a statement refocusing the attention on national politics, comparing the process in North Carolina to a federal level of checks and balances. Berger compares the process to Senate confirmations, saying, quote, Does Governor Cooper think Senator Elizabeth Warren is a tyrant for commanding answers from President Trump's cabinet nominees? Does Governor Cooper think that President Trump's cabinet should have been seated without Senate confirmation? A three-judge panel in Wake County is considering how to move forward with the law that requires Cooper's cabinet picks to be confirmed by the state Senate. The first scheduled meeting this Wednesday was blocked by the judges. Democrats argue there have never been hearings like this in the past. It also harms the rights of the governor as the chief executive of the state, and it harms the executive branch of state government. It should not be difficult for that nominee to present to the appropriate Senate committee information about his background, which presumably has already been examined by the governor. The three-judge panel will reconvene next week. Katie Harden, 9 on your side.